Good day to you IELTS Plus students. Welcome back to another episode of the IELTS Plus English podcast. Today's topic is environment. Now, before we start, and I must remember this because I didn't say it last time, please go to my website, www.jax-english, to get your free content, your free podcast handout where you can have all of today's questions and 10 key words and expressions related to today's topic. You can also get this on my Naver Cafe if you're in Korea. Uh, Yongguk Yongo, Jack's English, you'll find me there um, and all of the, the free handouts are available. Now, also, I must say as well, don't forget, please like the podcast, like me on YouTube, wherever you are, and uh, you know, subscribe to become part of the community here as well. I love to have you, and uh, I'm really enjoying this podcast. I hope you are too. Uh, now, last week, uh, I talked about education, and I failed to include the 10 key words. Now, I don't always do all of them. I, you know, I try to do five or six, but last week I did none. So I'm going to set myself a challenge today. I am going to try to get every single vocabulary and expression into my answers. And when I get one of the words, I'm going to make this sound. So if you hear this sound, that means I've just said one of the key words, and hopefully we can do all 10. That's my challenge for today's podcast. So let's not waste any more time and go into our first question. So, do you think pollution is a big problem nowadays? I think pollution is an enormous problem nowadays. It's particularly air pollution is one of the things that I see very often. We've got air pollution and water pollution. So these kind of things seem to be uh, killing off the, the native wildlife uh, around the countryside. Um, and we're seeing more and more insects and animals and plants die out. It's causing so many problems for us people. You know, our respiratory systems are affected. So um, I think it's a huge problem nowadays. Okay, <laughs> this is harder than I was expecting to include today's key words. That's a bit of a tricky one. I think I got two. Now, do you take steps to help the environment? I, I do try. Um, I try to do a number of things. For example, of course, I recycle. I divide all of my rubbish. Um, I try to walk as much as possible because I don't want to be using fossil fuels um, as much as I can. So that would mean, of course, driving a car. Um, I have been part of some conservation product projects, such as um, I, I attended a, a plant a tree festival or something like that, where I, I spent the whole day planting trees. Um, and in the future, I hope to live more sustainably. Um, sustainable life living for me would be using renewable energy, such as solar energy and wind energy, and just not polluting the environment as much as possible. <laughs> okay, well, I think we're doing okay so far. So um, we'll go straight on to a part two. So I'll prepare my timer. The, the question for part two, and I think this is going to be very challenging to include key words, but we'll do our best. Describe an environmental problem in your country. Okay, so I think that's quite an easy one for me to talk about. I am going to talk about Korea, um, and I've got two minutes on the clock, starting now. I'd like to tell you about air pollution in Korea. Air pollution is... Uh, a huge problem here. In the past, I remember when I first came to Korea 11 years ago, I felt like the sky was very often blue. It was clean. Uh, there was no 
issues with breathing. Um, we had the yellow dust, but um, I don't remember pollution and very fine dust being an issue. Nowadays, so we're 10 years later, it's, it's just a nightmare that occurs multiple times a year. So let me tell you a little more about the situation now. If, particularly every winter, sometimes in spring and, and various other times of the year, we have this enormous amount of pollution hanging over, certainly Seoul, sometimes the country. Now this blows over from factories. I think also the huge number of cars contribute to it. And um, it's, it's making breathing very difficult. It's making it very dangerous for humans. And as I said before, also wildlife and the environment. Environmentalists are particularly uh, concerned about it. So they're doing what they can do by, by making sure people know what's happening, why it's such an issue. I, I think possibly deforestation has also contributed to this issue. Deforestation has occurred around Korea a lot, particularly with the development around Seoul. So I, I suppose there's a number of contributing factors to the poor air quality. For me personally, the, okay, uh, that's two minutes. So I missed opinion and future. I would have just I would have just said how it affects me and how I feel so bad and um, sometimes I get um, a nosebleed. I don't know if that is from the, the air pollution, but it seems to be. And then uh, I would just wrap up by saying in the future I hope that this problem is solved, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, now, how are we doing? I think we've done at least six or seven of today's key words and I really want to make sure I try and hit all ten. Um, you will know this by the number of beeps if you're listening on the podcast and I will flash up the word or expression on the podcast video on YouTube in case you're interested. So let's go on to part three. What do you think is the main danger the world faces in terms of the environment? I think the main danger uh, is climate change and this comes from the huge amount of deforestation, um, our reliance on fossil fuels and just so much development and destruction of the environment, the wildlife. This is causing multiple issues already. Um, I know in some countries they're experiencing droughts from climate change. Some they're experiencing floods. And just generally, there's, there's the temperatures going up and it's causing much more extreme weather. So I, I would say climate change is the, the biggest threat facing humanity. Okay, let's do another question. What measures can an individual take to protect the environment? I think an individual needs to think locally, think small and, and do small actions that add up if every individual does it. So for example, something on my mind is that everyone should take um, a flask with them. You know, one of these thermos flasks which retain the, the heat or the cold of a drink and use that whenever they go to a coffee shop or in their workplace or academy, whatever it is. And I, th it would just cut down an enormous amount of plastic use. Another thing, of course, that everyone knows is that you can walk wherever you go, you can cycle. I think a lot of us are guilty of using public transportation or your car to go somewhere that's not that far. So I would say those are the two things that most individuals can do. Right. We're on to the last question. I think I have two more keywords, I think, that I haven't done. And I've got to try and get them into this last question, this last answer, so good luck. How can we teach children about the importance of protecting the environment? I think we need to teach children about the ecosystem as a whole 
so that they can understand what is within the ecosystem and how we affect it with our pollution and, and various things. Um, I think we can also introduce them to biodiversity in places like um, coral reefs, jungles, um, or even just our own countryside. And I think knowing about that would motivate young people to want to protect the environment more. I think I did it. Now, I think I did. I'm, <laughs> we will see. Once I edit this video, we will see. And uh, hopefully, I am triumphant. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed today's video. As I said, go and check out my handout. There's 10 keywords and expressions. You can have it for free at www.jacks-english.com. And uh, as I said, please give me that like. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back next week for our topic 16, which is another really common topic. We're, I think we're having a lot of very common topics at the moment. And it, next week it's family. So have a wonderful week, study hard, and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.